let's say we have a function z of x and y now dou z by dou x would be what would be limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x comma y minus f of x comma y divided by delta x and this is provided the limit exists similarly dou z by dou y would be what limit as delta x sorry delta y approaches 0 f of x comma y plus delta y minus f of x comma y divided by delta x same if limit exists yes z is equal to f of x comma y let's say we add a small change to x and a small change to y naturally this will make a change to z now suppose we are interested only in delta z so what we will do is we will subtract z yes so f of x plus delta x comma y plus delta y minus f of x comma y so these two gets cancelled and we are left with delta z x plus delta x comma y plus delta y now here let's keep the y constant let's keep the y constant that means this part constant so which means what we have to subtract f of x comma y plus delta y so here y is constant y part is constant because here it is y plus delta y here also it is y plus delta only x is changing then we have f of x comma y now in this case let's say this is one part in this case we want the x to be constant so what do we do we say f of x comma y plus delta y so here if you notice x is constant y is changing by delta y and since these two are same and they both are minus plus they cancel out each other without having a net effect on delta we want to convert it into a limit expression so what we have to do is f of x plus delta x comma y plus delta y minus f of x comma y plus delta y this whole thing divided by delta what delta x now naturally we can't just divide by something so we have to multiply it so that the net effect remains the same plus f of x comma y plus delta y minus f of x comma y divided by delta y naturally multiplied by delta y now if you look at these two expressions this and this limit as delta x approaches 0 and delta y approaches 0 then what happens delta x, z becomes dz this becomes dou f by dou x delta y uh, delta x becomes d x plus dou f by dou y times d y this dz is called the total differential okay this is one let's take z is equal to f of x comma y but now in this case let x equal to 
factor let x be a function of t y be a function of t so which means z is a composite function of t so as per our previous result dz we already have dz is equal to tau f by tau x dx now this would become dt dx by dt this will become dz by dt plus tau f by tau y times dy by dt now this is the second result and this is for the total derivative course with respect to t of z with respect to t now let's look at some special cases let's say z is equal to f of x comma y so we know dz by dt is equal to tau f by tau x dx by dt plus tau f by tau y times dy by dt now let y be a let y be a function of x yes say y is equal to p of x now in that case what happens in that case t is equal to x which implies dx by dt is equal to 1 so which means what happens to our formula dz by dt is equal to dou f by dou x times 1 dx by dt becomes 1 so plus dou f by dou y dy by dt okay so this is this is 1 now in another case let's look at an implicit function f of x comma y equal to 0 so f of x comma y equal to 0 means what df by d x equal to 0 so which means from our previous from this we get what we get 0 is equal to dou f by dou x plus dou f by dou y times dy by dx let's rearrange this a little bit let's bring this to this side so we get dou f minus dou f by dou x equal to dou f by dou y times dy by dx let's bring this also to this side so minus dou f by dou x this is multiplication so it gets divided so divided by dou f by dou y equal to dy by dx which means dy by dx is equal to minus dou f by dou x divided by dou f by dou y so this is another way of calculating dy by dx using partial differentiation okay i think that's enough for today bye for now